Y'all will be getting a lot of money from people behind these suites if you decide to come play here. That That's what completely looks to me like a Texas A&M um, staffer or perhaps an assistant coach, but someone with their um, hat on backwards, the Texas A&M logo with top and shorts. They're clearly on the field at Texas A&M. That was the... Uh, statement from them that was captured and put on Twitter since saying again y'all will be will be y'all getting a lot of money from the people behind these suites um yeah it's not a good look right it's not a good look but i don't know that it's i mean i'm not aware that there's anything actually wrong with what he's saying uh let's 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 rewind here for a second and not forget uh, what happened earlier this year uh, when Nick Saban was talking at an event and said we're second and recruiting last year, talking about the 22 cycle. A and M bought every player on their team, made a deal for name, image, and likeness. We didn't buy one player. I don't know if we're going to be able to sustain that in the future because more and more people are doing that. Um. And then, of course, a day later, with Jimbo saying some people think they're God, um, et cetera. So, I, I look in the in the public relations world that is uh, Texas A and M's uh, backpedaling. I hope right now uh, they're looking bad. This is a bad look for Texas A and M because of the forceful denial by Jimbo uh, about a month ago or whenever. Yeah, it was about a month ago. Um, so me, I love it. I think this is great. I think they're, the, the, the person representing A&M is telling the truth, to be honest. Um, they're, they, I think they just don't like being – uh, it looks right now like Texas A&M is trying to have it both ways and they're doing, and what I mean by that is there, there's definitely, um, a lot of momentum at Texas A&M in the recruiting world because of NIL deals. Um, and when they're signing players, uh, because of that, uh, they're getting aggravated that people are pointing that out. I would not be getting aggravated. I would. I don't see what it matters um, how you get players anymore. I mean, I understand that it's against the rules of the bylaws of the NCAA. I guess I'm not sure I fully understand that section of the thing. But co-ops co um, can do whatever they want to do. I mean, there's certainly people that can be in the suites that are in the co-ops. So there's there's nothing wrong in that scenario. Um, I mean, I just, I, I'm not sure, um, I don't know why Texas A&M is so sensitive about this, um, because Nick, what Nick said, although not delicate, um, is essentially correct in that those guys would not be going to Texas A&M without those NIL deals. That is going to become the norm. I think that Nick said it. Man, I look, I'm old enough to remember when Nick called uh, agents pimps. So, uh, you know, I've been around the block for a while. He says stuff sometimes, but um, I, I, I just, I don't know why this is bothering Texas A&M so much. They should really just let this go, continue to recruit and continue to beat Alabama on the field. If you do that, and there's no issues, I, I don't see what the problem is. So I think there's a lot of sensitivity here from the Aggies. I'm not sure why. Hey, look, make sure you're picking up Dogstruction today. The link is down below. This is something Texas A&M has not done yet, which is win the national championship. You can, um, well, not in the last, I think, 60 or whatever years, 50, no, 70 years almost. Uh, you can pick this up by picking the link below. Picking, uh, clicking on the link below. The great part about that is if you get Darkstruction today, 80 pages of goodness, you get this for free, which is our season preview. Uh, it's already been shipped out, both of them together. Uh, the link for our season preview is down below. If you get Darkstruction, you get the season preview for free with it.
pick it up today. If you don't want to wait and you're living in Athens, you just go to UGA Red Zone, excuse me, go to Red Zone, and uh, you can pick it up uh, there. It's a great deal. A lot of people are taking advantage of it, which means I'm going to have to get back into the cycle of ordering books again, but whatever. This is the new world. Now, I think one thing that Nick is pointing out, and he's not wrong, is I'm not sure we can sustain this. So someone is going to have to – There, here's the problem. we got a lot of problems right now. We've got – first problem is we're in a situation where we're in a very deregulated uh, market for these young men. And, and I'm, 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 I'm all for these guys making as much money as possible. I'm telling you right now I am. Um, what I don't know is um, <coughs> the schools are complaining about this a lot, and the schools are the reason we are at where we're at. Um, you know, the, this decision from the Supreme Court a year ago, um, there's there are legislative things that can be done. Uh, to wrangle themselves away from this. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, there's been money in athletics. There's been money in SEC football recruiting for a long, long time. And uh, we don't need um, to be so high and mighty that we don't acknowledge that. So this is not, well, it's di the difference right now is these numbers are astronomical. Um, I have literally never heard of anything close to um, million millions dollar deals. I mean that just that's not happened. There's been there's been compensation in the past for recruiting. It is not can I I'm not gonna lie to y'all. There's no I mean you're my audience. I I you know I appreciate everything y'all do for me. Um, supporting this channel is watching it and you know if you're interested buying the products that we've got but we're not going to terminate our relationship with you we're not going to run down our relationship by telling you something that's not true or misleading you there's been money in in, in collegiate football and football uh, recruiting for decades i i have literally never heard the numbers that I'm hearing today that that's the difference. This is multi-pronged. It could be that what Nick was trying to do was say to his audience, Hey, you know, we're not buying players. So, but we're going to have to, and the Alabama community is going to have to do uh, some kicking in. If y'all want this to continue. Georgia, and now Alabama can't do it. Georgia can't do it. The Alabama community, the Georgia community can do it. There's nothing wrong with that. If I want right now to call Stetson and say, Stetson, I have a $10 million deal for six months. I need you to, well, whatever, seven months, five months. Where are we at here? Fourth of July is coming up. I have a $10 million deal uh, for the next six months, and you need to sign this amount of gear uh, you need to do a, sh a show with me every Tuesday night, uh, and then I'm going to get you to endorse, uh, you know, the, the magazine, okay, or Dog Destruction. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's total commerce, and we're just in a marketplace doing our thing. Um, those those deals, not $10 million um, that I'm aware of, uh, exist, okay? But I think Nick is seeing that the future at Alabama might not be like the past. And I think he's right. I just, I don't have any doubt that Nick and Alabama will see what the future is and get there faster than everybody else. They're not going to let a one year thing with Texas A&M stop them from going where they got to go. I can assure you that Kirby smarts the same way. Why do you think it's almost the 4th of July or maybe you're watching this on the 4th? And Kirby hasn't signed an extension. There are things that people want in place to make sure that they're prepared for the future of college football. I will add that there's a lot of talk about Texas A&M uh, in terms of the 22 season. I do not view this Texas A&M team as a real threat to beat 
Alabama and not and knock them out of the SEC West and therefore conference championship. I do not view this year as doing that. One class does not make a program. The future may be a different ball game. Um, the next time they go to Kyle Field, Texas A&M may have a much more significant advantage uh, in that game. Which, well, advantage is probably the wrong word, but they very well could be in position to beat Alabama and take off from there. I just think 22 is a little early. Uh, we'll see, but the future's coming. Some people have said the future is here. The last thing I'll add. What's it going to be like when people start booing these college players because they have paid them? What's it going to be when uh, the players have agreements with betting companies um, or, or more things that people assume, you know, associated with vices in the country? That we'll just have to tackle when we get there.